everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my first video of 2022. I am back in my background. This is going to be my background for the foreseeable future. I'm going to film my videos on weekends when I'm not at my parents because I go to my parents when I'm working. So I'm going to try and film all my videos on weekends. But today I thought that I would film a 2022 New Year's resolution video. I've done this literally every single year since having my channel because I just like it. I love organisation, I love planning and for me making resolutions is just a fun thing to do and they're always things that are achievable. I think it's good to have like goals and aims for a year or for a week or for a month because it means that you can reflect on how you have done that week or how you've done that year or you have something to kind of follow or some structure to your life in general. So I like to have them and I think, you know, it's nice, even if they are just small things. Got my little um, cup of tea in my sloth mug, of course. I'm getting like a collection of animal mugs. I just love them. I don't know what it is about mugs that are animal themed. I just do love them and the cup of tea just tastes so much better. So yeah, get yourself a little cup of tea. Let's crack on. So my resolutions number one is to be on my phone less. This is a big one. I feel like it affects my eyesight. My eyes are not the greatest at the minute. I also need to do my driving test at some point in 2022 as well. And I need to be able to pass the section where you can, you know, have to, where you have to read a number plate basically. And I don't think I'm like gonna pass that basically. So uh, that's not good. Uh, but yeah, my eyes need to be better. So I have got an eye test booked in for January, probably gonna need some driving glasses, but yeah, I need to be on my phone less because I don't think it's good for my eyes. It's also not good for your mental health to be constantly scrolling through social media. And I just think, yeah, there's a time and a place for being on your phone on social media. And I think maybe like very quickly in the morning, I'll just quickly go through social media, just check, make sure I've got no messages or anything, and then check it in the evening. And that's enough, really. I used to do that, so I don't know why that's not, you know, I don't know why that's not an achievable thing. So be on my phone less. Number two is to work out regularly, um, but not feel guilty when I don't. So the thing with me is, is I like everything to be organized and planned. And if I don't stick to my schedule or if I don't stick to my plan, then it's like, oh, I failed basically. But when it comes to healthy eating, when it comes to working out, you have to consider it like your lifestyle. So you can't, you know, if I say to myself, I have to work out Monday to Friday, well, what if I'm busy on Thursday? What if I physically can't do it? Then I'll feel like I failed. So I need to have that kind of mentality where I think work out when I have the time. And I am quite like um, an enjoyer, an enjoyer. I quite enjoy workouts. I do really enjoy working out for my mental health. It's just fun in general, I personally think. I do workouts on YouTube. So for me, that's not an issue. Um, I really enjoy working out. So I think for me, it's just making sure that if I don't know if I'm feeling a bit ill, to just not do it. But yeah, workouts are amazing. Try them if you don't work out. I follow Pamela Reef and also Mad Fit on YouTube. I will link both of their channels in the description. They do dance workout videos. So they're about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and they're really fun. So go and check them out. I will link them below. So number three, by the way, my list is on my laptop, hence why I might be looking over here. To eat intuitively like I currently do, but to be slightly healthier with more fruit and veg. So I'm not calorie counting. I'm not tracking anything like that at the minute. I used to but I don't now. I am happy with how I am now, but I do think I do need to make a few more healthier choices. I think over the Christmas period and just before the Christmas period, I was, you know, not making the healthiest choices. I wouldn't say I was like overeating, but I would say I wasn't being healthy with my choices and I just want to eat like more vegetables basically because they do taste quite good. Eating healthy can taste really good. And I think when you go, through, well, when I go through a period of time of not eating healthy, I actually start to think fast food is not actually as nice as you think um, when you have it all the time. So yeah, I just like crave some healthy food basically. So intuitive eating. Number four, I think we're on, I can't believe I can't count to four. 
is to release more products for Fresh Face and to be more organized with making the products and also to do more giveaways of the products. So basically, I have got all planned out for my little skincare business, which is called Fresh Faced by Georgie Carr. And basically I make my own skincare products and I literally design the labels, I order the packaging, I make all the ingredients and everything, well I don't make the ingredients, but I mix all the ingredients together and basically make the products and I then sell them on Etsy and eBay, which I always have linked in the description of my videos if you're ever wondering or you wanna just go and check them out. I do appreciate all the support that people have given me in 2021, so thank you for that. I will make a whole video later on this month about my products, the current products I have um, got out at the minute, just so that you kind of know. Fresh based, I'm gonna be more organized. I feel like I would always make products to order, but a lot of the products I sell, I don't need to make them to order. I can sort of like bulk make them a little bit more. So that's what I'm gonna try and do is just be a little bit more on it. And then once somebody's ordered something, I can either post it that same day or the next day. So yeah. And like I said, I do want to give away a few more products here or there, you know, not too often, but you know, just to do some giveaways. I think the giveaways will be on my YouTube channel rather than on Instagram or Facebook. I think I'll do them on here. So if you want to be involved in that, then make sure you are subscribed to this channel and go and follow my Facebook and my Instagram below, which are for my skincare products. Okay, number one, two, three, four. Number five is to stay organized because it keeps me happy. So this is one that I always have every single year and I have literally, in a past video, it's almost embarrassing, I said the key to my happiness is organization and I actually still think that's true because if I'm not organized or if I don't feel organized, I actually feel really sad and I know that's quite bad. But I do think like when the place you're in is tidy, everything in your life is tidy and organized, you just feel so much more or less stressed. And in general, it just makes me happier. Like I'll be more excited to wake up. I'll be more motivated to do things because everything's like in line. I generally do like organizing things anyway. So maybe I'm just a bit weird, but organization, stay organized. And that's not a hard new year resolution for me because I enjoy it. I've lost count of what I'm on. One, two, three, four. Number six, try and pass my driving test. I really want to do that this year and I think I will, but don't know whether it's going to be first time, second time, third time or a hundredth time, I don't know. I would be quite annoyed if, you know, I don't pass it first time, um, but only because of a money thing. If money wasn't involved, then I wouldn't really care, but because I have to pay money, I'll just feel like I'm wasting my money. But I do want to do my driving test. So at the minute, I'm going to make, like, today, I'm going to make a schedule of what I need to do for my test, like maneuvers I need to practice, etc., etc. And then hopefully I'll be ready for my driving test, which I will not tell you when it is, but I will tell you after I've done it. And I will be honest as to whether I failed and why I failed or whether I passed. So yeah, that is something I want to do this year. Number seven is to be consistent with YouTube. I was consistent at the start of last year because when you start a new year, you're always consistent with something and then you kind of like tail off. I am the kind of person where I can stay motivated for general things, like I can stick to things. I'm not one of those people that just starts something and then just gives up after a day. But I do want to be more consistent with this because obviously I work now or I was working before Christmas and I had some time off and it just meant that I was like a little bit too busy to do like YouTube and to make videos so I didn't really make that many and I didn't really put that much effort in and the views on my videos like were a lot less than usual so I am going to put my effort into my videos and edit them a little bit better so Hence why I'm back up here in my background instead of just randomly shoving the camera in one of the rooms in my parents' house. And uh, got my little, little mug. And I've got all these rings. Jamie got me these rings for Christmas. So I put like a billion on my hands. There's actually 11, 11 rings on my hands. Um, so yeah, nice and practical for when I'm washing up. Um, and my nails as well. Oh yeah, and I've got these new earrings as well. And it's a little bit random, but yeah. These are clip-on earrings. If you don't have clip-on earrings and you don't have your ears pierced, try them because they stay on perfectly fine. They don't hurt your ears and you don't need to have your ears pierced. So it's a win-win. The final one, which I think is number eight. 
not sure, I'll write it on the screen, um, is to be positive and happy. Now, this was something I put and included in my resolutions for 2021, so last year, and that is a massive one. Like, I think if you're not happy in your day-to-day -day life, then you need to do something about it. There's no point in doing things or um, doing activities if you're not happy or having a job where you're not happy. So. I'm the kind of person where I try and make every single little situation be a positive. Everything I'm doing day to day, like I will look forward to a coffee I'm having, I'll look forward to a program I'm watching, or I will just make little things that I enjoy. Like I don't need to go on holidays to be happy. I don't need to do like extravagant things or have massive gifts to be happy. I get happiness from small things. So I think for me, I just need to make sure that throughout the year, I'm just checking in on myself and I'm just thinking, am I actually happy? Am I being positive? Am I looking on the bright side of things? And um, because it does help if you are able to do that. I know obviously some people really struggle with looking on the bright side of things, but I'm one of those people that always tries to do that. So yeah, I just wanna make sure 2022 I'm happy 2021 was pretty good year for me I obviously started my new job and I have been probably I would say the happiest I've been and I think it is down to um, having a job having a structure to my life I like having that structure and I enjoy my weekends a lot more than I used to so yeah Hopefully that will continue throughout 2022. That is all of my like New Year's resolutions. They're not very extravagant. They're very just samey samey, but I just like to make this video as my first video back on YouTube for the new year because I think it's nice to do that. And also all of these res resolutions are like true to what I want to do. But yeah, make some resolutions, even if they're just in your head or just things that you want to do simple or even if they're like massive things that you might not even achieve, but you just want to try um then do that but yeah that is my first little video back i think my next video is going to be reviewing vive makeup and um i got a few bits for christmas from vive i will talk about that brand in that video but yeah that's going to be my next video and that should be up on wednesday and then i think on friday there will be podcast episode five is that right podcast episode five with my mum so yeah Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for the rest of the year because I've got loads of videos coming this year. I'm gonna be posting twice a week, Monday and Wednesday, and then every two weeks I'll do a video with my mom, which will fall on a Friday, so once every two weeks. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Like the video if you liked it, and comment anything you wanna comment, or comment some resolutions if you've got any resolutions. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.